and outside in ORU has been. Second quarter starts, Nebraska ball moving left to right. Trinity Brady for three in the deep right corner. You betcha! Off the assist from Izzy Bourne. Sinitra Jones turns around a couple of times. Kate Kane got a hand on it, blocked it, went off the front of the rim. Rebound Kane. Sam Hobby throws it ahead, run on the floor. Izzy Bourne put on the air, breaks it, stopped and scored. Izzy Bourne. On the deep left wing it comes. Throws to her fellow Aussie, Ruby Porter, deep left side. Sam Hobby throws to a cutting Izzy Bourne, and it counts! And a foul! Sorry, Matt, has, um, yeah, has six plus the one coming here. Hip, flips the ball over to Hybe, flips down low for KK, caught it in the short corner, dumps underneath, screen and roll, Hybe puts it up, and it counts! And to run that play for about 15 seconds. <laughs> And Sam couldn't get a clean pass to Kate. Brady on the deep left side. Scoggin in the deep left corner. Out top, Izzy Bourne asks for the ball, gets the ball. Lightly guarded by her sister. Good pass underneath, and Kate Kate finishes. And it counts, and a foul. Dandy pass on the assist from Izzy Bourne. Job. I thought maybe that's what they were going to get it with, was creating space with her head. Here's a screen and roll. Hybe finds Kate Kane, who rolls and scores. That's twice from the top of the key. Kate Kane has been found, and she's got four straight. Off the ball screens to look for her shot. She certainly did there. Good dish inside. Strong move by Bella Cravens. She goes as we go, and we go as she goes. And she just means so much for the pulse of the squad. Normally associate Garantes with being a scorer, but, but the fact that she did it today and she did it against Manhattan, um, it, it, it just it just shows to me that that she's not just a score that she's a little bit of everything Good dish Nice handoff and Annika Stewart What she can do defensively in the full court 138 to go first quarter 11 to 8 records leads it Craven Great throws on the low block underneath Izzy board yes Fort and got it off the assist from Bella Craven Second quarter way out top Izzy Bourne, left wing. Great pass. Sam Hybe, screen and roll. Izzy Bourne gets Nebraska the lead. Off the assist from Sam Hybe. It is second best on this Nebraska team. Here's Kane on the baseline for an eight-footer that rattles off the rim and drops. And the Huskers have their first lead. Hybe on the left wing with seven. Can't turn the corner with five, but found a slip to Bourne right down the lane. And Isabel Bourne lays it in for Nebraska. Almost 20 a game in Big Ten play. She had 27 and nine. Here she is, got behind the Spartan defense and has her first two of the game. The other Australian on this team, other than Bourne, as Stewart saves that one, Bourne shoots the three and makes it. She talks, she's loud by her game, so when we're not seeing that, it feels really off. Hybe misses the first shot, drops it off to Kane, and she has her first two of the game. As Cook gets her shot blocked by Bourne. Throws it up ahead. Brown cherry picking behind the defense gets the easy two. Good hustle by Harris to come up with the turnover and save it, but saves it right to Whitney Brown who lays it in. And the Husker are see the steal. You never want to save the ball underneath your opponent's basket because more times than not, they're going to get a steal, and this type of play is exactly what happens. So keep in mind, don't want to save that ball underneath. Trying to control tempo and pace against a much deeper Ohio State bench and a more athletic Ohio State team. Nice feed into Kate Kane, who gets the easy two. In the second quarter, Hybe facilitating, keep that ball high. Kane keeps it high. Nobody from Ohio State can get it. Smart move, great facilitating by the Huskers early on. Shooting just 25%. Here in this first half, Nebraska at 38.1. Both of these teams to the top. Great feed inside from Scoggin to Kane. Monica Stewart down low to Kane. Turn around quickly. Kane, Kane having a nice game early on. She has 11 already. Nebraska's passing has been excellent in this second quarter. Giving the ball to Kate Kane deep in the paint and keeping that ball nice and high where only Kane can catch it. That's a huge ability to have as a team post-passing. 11 points in the first half to lead Nebraska, which is already over her season average. And there she is down low, flims over her head, and on cue, Ashley Scoggin delivers for it. A red hot. She moves away from the ball and just... 
Nancy Paniotopoulou on the floor for Illinois for the first time in this game as Nancy Fay works in her bench. And Nebraska works in right to Kate Kane. This event and on the offensive end, exactly what you want to do as a post player, keep the ball high and get the easy bucket down low. Brooke Schrammick misses the first shot she attempts and back the other way go the Huskers as a result. Then there's a three by Hybe up and good. Sam Hybe on fire right now. But Sydney Hilliard was just able to get open, make a nice catch, make a nice shot, and get it to go for the Badgers. And Sam Hybe finds Kate Kane wide open on the right block. It's now a 20 point Nebraska lead. Nicole Caton, a nice pass down low to Kate Kane. That was in between a shot and a pass. Uh, Rim, and then wings it back out to the wing. A dump to Kate Kane inside, and the four foot hook shot rattles in for Kane. Hybe at the free throw line. Airtight defense by Beverly. They bounce it to Kane on the left block. Backdoor cut for Scoggins, who glides in and scores high off the glass. Burke is just one for five. Rebound for Scoggins. 29-22, Penn State leads Nebraska, 6.37 to go. Slipping in the lane, it was Burke. To Whitney Brown, the walk-on. Over to Caden in the corner. Good closeout by Burke and Marisa. Caden, oh, threw a double team, able to shovel a pass across the lane to Kane on the right block, and Kane's got 15 points on 7-9 shooting. Great way to start the game for Mack. Yeah, Mack, of course, injured earlier this season. Rutgers thrilled to have her back on the court, and Nebraska this time goes inside to Kate Kane. Scores easily inside the paint. Of course, pressure here by the Scarlet Knights. Nebraska able to get it across. That pass zipped inside and wide open underneath was a Nicka Stewart, the freshman out of Minneapolis. Scoggin. Over to go. Good feet inside. Cravens open, and what a find from the top. He's hunting down low for her shot. Rolls off the screen. That's the right move. And then it looks like as she comes back down, she looks like she's stepped on. You see right there the foot of Megan Meyer. Of foot. Megan Meyer. Yeah, and that hurts. Just get that little ankle roll when you fall on someone's foot off balance. See right there. Inside. Good find. The patience there. The finish there for Annika Stewart. Nebraska such a good team when they're able to settle down into their offense under 10 seconds in the shot clock get those types of high percentage shots it's not about getting a good shot it's about getting a great shot and right underneath the basket's a pretty great shot and a bounce to Sam Hybe good pass on the bounce to Kate Kane against Maryland the Terps won 87 69 last year they're 12 and 0 in their history against the Huskers but good work done early by Izzy Blowing down the defense just a little bit and then all of a sudden addition off to a teammate at the last second. There's Porter launching from three and she hits. Freshman of the year. Having a nice second season as well. Good feed inside a good position to get it to Kate Kane for a pair. Kate Kane has been big for Nebraska in big games against Ohio State. She had 10 blocks. Tell you what, already two steals for Veronica Burton. Five steals total and it feels like she's had a role in almost every one of it. Kane gets it to go. You can't lose her in the corner like that if you're Nebraska. Eight point lead early. Dish down low. Bourne left handed finish. 15 9. In the corner. Nice pass to Kane and an easy two. Great dish from Hybe there and Kane hasn't missed yet. Western lead down to just four and that's because of Nebraska. Kate Kane. So Nebraska only down seven with the ball. Inside to Kane, great seal. And she hasn't missed again. Five of five, 12 points inside. There's another seal from the big. She has not. Nebraska has a chance to take the lead. Quick pass inside to Bourne. Bourne puts it up and gets it to fall. Janasia Cash just a little bit early on the defense. Huskers up 25-23. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Scoggin. Stops on a dime, splits defenders, giving Kane a chance to get that short corner shot up. Inside the feed, it's up and good. It's going to be a, a stepping up by committee, rather. Hubbard, as you see, how he gets a bucket. Hubbard stepping up for Minnesota. Smith stepping up for Minnesota. I was going to say, that must be very traumatic. You're clearly over it, bringing it up on this broadcast. 16 really hurt me. It's not a big deal.
Oh, man. If they could only see you now. Great feed inside to Kane for two. Kane size once again. Been a great facilitator all year long for the Huskers. Gets the ball right where Kane can catch it. Big scores come from unselfish play for Maryland. Diamond Miller gets some separation and finds Mimi Collins. They move all without the ball and find each other in positions to score. Quick trap. Huskers get out of it. And Sam Hybe with a quick answer. Kate Kane keeping the possession alive. Born. The bounce pass to Cravens inside.